Hello viewers, I hope you're all well today. As always, if it's the first time watching our channel or you're a regular viewer, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that sub subscribe button if you haven't done so already. It's interactions like that that help this channel stay well up in the YouTube rankings. And just as, if not more importantly, it's customers, not just visitors to our website or our optics weekends, that help this channel continue and I can keep coming up with new ideas and products. So with this one, it's not so much a new product, but uh, just a comparison really between the Hawk Endurance ED 8x25 and the Hawk Endurance ED 8x42. Which one should you go for? There's around about a £30 or so difference between the two. Now obviously, if you're out hiking and weight and space is at a premium, then there's one obvious choice, the more compact one. But there was something that really surprised me with these two. Now, you got a 25mm objective and a 42mm objective. And just looking at the total surface area, you'd think, OK, the brightness is going to be significant, a significant difference in brightness. When I first tested these side by side, I was struggling to see a difference. Uh, now, the, 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 after a few attempts and looking in different lighting conditions, then yes, the 42mm just give a slightly brighter image, but, but it's not the difference between night and day, and not the difference between what you would think looking at the objective lens size. You'd think it would be nearly twice as bright an image. Now, whether that has something to do with each user's... <coughs> um, exit pupil like uh, if that makes a difference because my, my exit pupil in my eyes I don't know it's, it's not going to be seven or eight millimeters so that that may make a difference I'll not I'll not give my age away but let, let's just say Heinz varieties and so yeah th there is a step up in brightness and contrast but not as much as you would think and I'm wondering how many people will actually notice now, with these two monoculars, I'm not going to go too far into the specifications. To, to look at each one in detail, just go to my channel and you'll, you'll look in the playlist, find Hawk, and you'll be able to find these two where I go into more detail. So, obviously, they, if it's a more compact monocular, then the 25mm wins every day. And uh, the larger one will give slightly better low light performance but the differences are smaller than you'd think and and uh, they both come with cases that will clip onto a belt loop and they both come with a strap the the compact one comes with a wrist strap and the larger one version comes with a strap that can be put around your wrist or your neck uh, but I'm sure if you ask the dealer really 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 nicely they will upgrade the upgrade the strap to the longer one if you ask nicely, and uh, I can think of one that would do that no problem. So, other advantages: the the 42 millimeter has a longer eye relief. So, if you're a spectacle wearer, yes, it has um, a, a wider field of view. Uh, only not massively, but it does give a wider field of view. Some people prefer for one-handed operation this type of focus because it's very easy to use single-handed and just, just just like like so adjust the focus. Uh, the the focus can be adjusted single-handed with a small one, but it is a little bit more 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 tricky. And also there is a, a closer focus um, with with the I think these are about what four meters or so. Then you're going to around two meters. And so, yeah, the, the pros of the, the larger one do outweigh uh, the results you'll get through this, the 25mm, but not by as much as you would think, believe me. And if you're passing our optics weekends, come and have a, have a, have a try uh, yourself. And so, other than the, the weight, the lower weight of the, the smaller one, then yes, that there is also a price uh, difference be between the two. They both had very similar edge of field sharpness, with you know, and and, and in the centre of view, even with uh, high contrasting 
subjects such as uh, like I often look at the pigeons in the tree around the back garden heavily backlit there are a similar amounts of chromatic aberration away from centre. In the centre of both there is virtually no chromatic aberration whatsoever so the subject you're looking at will be nice and sharp to the edges. So yeah that's a, a quick look at the Hawk Endurance ED 8x25 and 8x42 advantages of the 25mm more compact lightweight cost less uh, the larger one a wider field of view closer focus easier to focus and that slightly brighter image although it's debatable how many people will notice that so as always i hope this helps please check out links in the description below where you can purchase from us and uh, i shall see you next time